Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Tips uh, Steel on Industrial Electronics and Form. That is uh, working on the network theorems. Uh, here we've got uh, the Thevenin's um, theorem that we are given in this case, uh, which is uh, uh, from the question paper of November 2022. So here we've got um, question number 1.1, 1 .1, which is the use of the Thevenin's method to calculate the current across the load resistor RL. So here, We've got our load resistor RL, and that is eight marks for that. And 1.2 was to state two application procedures followed in question, which is uh, actually the steps that you used to calculate this uh, current across the uh, resistor RL. All right, so uh, uh, what I'm going to start is to show you the, I'm going to sh show you the steps first uh, that you have. So this is what you're going to consider with as long you are to use the Thevenin's theorem. Uh, we What we need or the steps that we need to follow in this case is to remove the load resistor and label terminals A and B where the load is removed. Calculate VTEF that appears across these terminals. Then we are going to short circuit all voltage sources and open circuit all current sources when there is a current source. Then calculate RTEF. Between both terminals A and B, draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit with the VTEF and RTEF. Insert the load resistor between terminals A and B, then calculate the required voltage or current depending with the question that you're given. Is it current or is it voltage? All right. So as you can see, uh, these are the steps that you're supposed to follow, which is uh, very, very important in this case. All right. So in, anyways, uh, let us consider these steps on our diagram here. Like I said, the first part uh, we saw that was to remove uh, the load resistor. In this case, our load resistor is uh, RL, which is 16 ohm. So if we remove this resistor here, we're going to remove with this circuit, this part of our circuit as it is. Or let me just try to have it this side. So we are going to remain with our resistor R2, all right, R1, which is uh, two ohms in this case. Then take note, we've got a voltage source being, being positive, negative, all right? So we are going to have our voltage source is going to remain as it is. Uh, we move on to this point here. Uh, we have got uh, resistor, uh, resistor two, that is our resistor two in this case, 1, 1,1 ohms. And the voltage source V2, take note also, uh the arrangement that we have positive negative this one is very very important it's a similar question that we had uh from our seven i think uh, now i do not remember the question paper but anyways i'm going to i'm going to explain uh from that uh part that we had before okay this is not how it is given this is uh joined on top which is just one in the same thing is joined on top like this so we are going to have it open, also joined from this point. So we're going to have it open. Remember, we said we are going to remove the load resistor and we replace the points A and B, okay? So this is now open. So the remaining parts are they are as they are. We've got our R2 here, which is 1,1 1, 1 ohm. Uh, our V2, which is in this case, uh, nine volts. Uh, V1 in this case, which is uh, six volts. And we've got R1 which is uh, in this case is uh, two ohms, all right? So that was two ohms. So let's now calculate with there. So I'm not gonna write uh, back those steps. I remember I, I showed you the steps guys. So what we saw is that when we remove the load resistor, we are going to calculate uh, our V there in this case, which is the look in voltage across the terminals A and B. So the look in voltage that we have to that is uh, across the terminals A and B. Uh, let us consider what we have got here, guys. Uh, we've got two voltage sources. On this condition, we have got uh, the voltage one and the voltage two that we have got here. So what we are going to consider is calculating the voltage, which is uh, differently, like we are calculating the voltage across AB from, uh, let's consider from V1, okay? We, we, we are going to consider V1. We also consider V2. So we are going to take it this way. Uh, let us not, let us just say we take out these nine ohm volts, like we consider not there. Whether that's what I'm saying. We consider the nine ohm, the nine volts as if it is not there. You calculate uh, the voltage across AB, 
okay you do the same thing you consider the six votes like it's not there you calculate uh, using the nine vote uh, that we are given here. All right, so this is what you're going to do, guys. Uh, all right, so like consider, let's just have it this way, consider, okay, let's start with the six, oh, I'm, I'm the six votes here. I'm going to consider this as if it's not there, all right? So consider uh, the six vote source out, all right? So let's say this is out of our circuit. We are going to calculate the voltage across the terminals uh, A and B in this case, which you can consider as a VBA like this. All right. So using our voltage divider rule, so we are going to apply our voltage divider rule, which states that since we are to calculate the voltage like BA, we are calculating the voltage like across R1. We are considering the R1 resistor because that the, 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 the other voltage source is on the other part on this branch here. So we are considering like calculating the voltage across R1. So using the voltage divider rule, it states that if we consider R1, therefore we are going to have it as R1 over the sum of the resistors, which is R1 plus R2 times the other voltage that we are given on the other terminal, which is a V2. So that is how we can calculate this, which is going to be R1 in this case is two over the sum, we add two and one comma one. So that will be two plus one comma one times the voltage of uh, nine volts in this case, all right? So this is going to give us something like uh, 5,8085, uh, 45 like that, which is going to be 06, is 64. So if the four cannot change this to three decimal places. Uh, so that is what you're going to have. So this is voltage measured in volts. So you're going to have this as VBA. We consider this time uh, as if V2 is now out of our circuit. Okay, V2 is now out of our circuit. So meaning to say V1 is now there. Okay, so we are going to consider uh, consider V2, which is equal to nine volts out of the circuit. All right, so if we consider this as it's not there, it's not part of our circuit in this case, it means we are going to calculate the voltage across R2 because this is not there. So we're going to calculate the voltage across R2 in this case, which you can refer as VAB. So VAB, according to our voltage divider rule, we said we consider the resistance that the resistance that is across that part that we want to calculate, which is R2. So it's going to be on top. So it's R2 over the sum of these two resistors. That is uh, R1 plus R2 times the voltage that we are now uh, considering as part of our circuit, which is six volts. Now we are going to multiply to six volts, which is uh, V1, okay? So that means our VAB is going to be R2, which is 1 comma 1. So it's 1 comma 1 over the sum. That is uh, 2 plus 1 comma 1, 2 plus 1 comma 1 times V1, which is our V1 is uh, six volts. So if we are to do this, we are going to have our VAB, which is equal to uh, something like two comma, two comma one twos and so forth. So this is going to be one, two, nine and so forth in, in volts. All right. So this is what we have in this case. But now I, 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 I talked about this in the previous, uh, in another paper that I was considering to say, if we are to consider the voltage now, uh, which is our VDEV, it is going to be the difference between these two, depending with the condition that you give. So in this case, we are going to subtract uh, these two to, in order for us to obtain uh, VDEV in this case. So we are supposed to be very careful on this part. We are supposed to be very, very careful uh, with the condition that you are given. All right. So let's consider our voltage sources. All right. Let's consider our voltage sources here. Uh, okay. Let me remove this part, guys. Let me have our diagram properly because if we do not consider our voltage sources properly this is going to affect us so this was like this all right and this was uh let's see here the positive this side all right this is positive positive so here we are going to add all right so these two we are going to add them so take note about this these two we are going to add them it's a positive a positive there so this part uh, as it is like, like this, it is going to be added, not subtracted. So meaning to say our VTEV is going to be the sum of these two. That's VBA plus 
VAB. All right, so this time we are going to add, so this is opposite to the one that we had previously where we had to subtract. So this time we are going to add, uh, so if it is like um, positive, positive, when it is uh, given in this consideration like this, all right, this is what we are simply having. Uh, so this, our VTEV is going to be the sum of the two. Our VTEV is going to be the sum of uh, VAB plus VBA or VBA plus VAB. Uh, if you consider uh, being negative, now opposite, now negative on top, then you are going to subtract them, okay? The bigger one minus the smaller one, that is what you're going to do. So this, I uh, think we are together. Uh, so this part simply means we are going to obtain, if we add uh, properly, we are going to have something like, uh, that's 7,935 volts in this case. All right, so this is our VTEV. All right, so uh, take note, guys. It's not all about just subtracting the numbers. You consider how the arrangement is given. So in this case, this is a positive, positive, all right? So now we've got our VTEV. Remember from our steps, after calculating VTEV, what you're going to do now is to short circuit our voltage sources, this part. We have a short circuit, short circuit, which means we remain with R1 and R2. So this is what we have here. Short circuit here, short circuit here. We remain with R1 and R2. All right, so let's have it uh, on this part. So why are we doing this? What will be the purpose now of uh, short circuiting uh, these? We want to calculate R theft in this case. So on that part, we will be wanting to calculate R theft. So meaning to say on our diagram, we are going to just remain with resistor R1. This is a short circuit. Uh, we move on resistor R2. The other part is a short circuit. All right. So that is what you're going to have. So this will be our presentation, guys. As we saw that our terminals are at this point, another terminal there. So this was the point A and the point B. Here being 1,1 1, 1 ohm and this being 2 ohms. So as you can see, guys, these two resistors, they are in parallel because the currents, they are different. The current at this point, the current at this point, they are actually different. So meaning to say these two resistors, they are in parallel. They do not have the same current flowing there. So meaning to say our RTF in this case is going to be R parallel, which is a product of a sum. So we are going to apply uh, the product over the sum of the resistors, all right? So let's see, uh, the product over the sum of the resistors, product over the sum. So the product in this case, that's two and one comma one. So you're going to multiply two times one comma one over the sum of resistors two plus uh, one comma one in this case. All right, so this gives us RTF, okay? Of which our RTF is going to be something like uh, uh, 0, 0.7096, uh, 77, seven, like that. So if you round off to three decimal places, uh, this is going to affect the six here. That's one, two, three. Six is going to affect nine. That will be a zero, we give one here. So we're going to have uh, 0, 0,710, which is just 0, 0,71 ohms. All right, so we are having RTF in this case. So having these two, we are done. We have got VTEF, we have got RTF in this case. So what are we going to do? We are now back to the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, where, I, where we saw that from that equivalent circuit, we are going to have it this way. So this one, you're supposed to take it by heart, know it by heart. It consists of VTEV. So we are going to have VTEV in this case, RTEV in this case, this is the, our Thevenin's resistance. Then uh, the part that we had A and B, remember we removed that part where we have got A and B, where we removed the load. So we are going to replace that load now in this case. So this part, we are going to replace our load resistor, which is uh, RL. So we are going to replace that part with everything that was on that part. Maybe it had uh, another series resistor or, 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 or or whatever that you're given, take as it is. So our load resistor, this is just 16. So just 16 as it is. We do not have any other resistor in, uh, in a series with this one. So that will be 
uh, it. We just we, we just have it as it is. We do not add any part. So that is uh, 16 ohms. So that was 16 ohms. Remember, I said this is going to be represented with RTEV. So here is our RTEV and this is our VTEV, all right? So knowingly that we calculated RTEV here, which is a 0 0.71 ohms. We calculated VTEV, that is our 7.935 volts. So this is the equivalent circuit that you're supposed to know. And from this circuit, we can calculate the current across the load resistor, which is 16 ohms. Uh, this current is the same throughout. So meaning to say the current through, through the load resistor is the same as the total current of the circuit because it's a series circuit. So this is going to give us uh, VTEF. So that is going to be VTEF over the sum of the resistors. Since these resistors are in series, we are going to add them. So we're going to add RTEF plus RL, the one that we removed. So VTEF in this case being 7.935 everything over the resistance, the, the resistance that we have, which is RTF, that's uh, 0 0.71 plus RL, our RL in this case is uh, 16 ohms, all right. So this is going to give us the total current, which is the same as the current across RL. Uh, that is going to be something like 0 0.47486 eight uh six five three and so on all right so let us just round off these to three decimal places that will be 0 0.475 amps all right so that that's here we have got uh the current across the load resistor uh RIA, which was the 16 ohm resistor so these are the stages guys that you're supposed to uh be careful with or to take note of uh, as long we are working with the Thevenin's uh, theorem on a condition or on a diagram like this, take note of the voltage sources, how they are, how the voltage sources are presented, how uh, they presented is very, very important. Uh, so that are you going to add or are you going to subtract? So in this case, we're going to add the two. Uh, that is the case that we had. And uh, if you check 1.2, we talked about it, that is to state two application procedures followed in question 1.1. So these are the steps that were followed, the steps that were being followed. And uh, those are the steps that I showed you from the first part of our class, which is uh, the steps that I indicated. Uh, so you are going to write these steps that are being followed in order for us to remain or to have the current that was being uh, required or in our question. All right, so there was a question, guys from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.